All right, everybody. Strange 131 back here again. This one's going to be uh, about uh, 4G63 for your DSMs, your Evos, what you know. I just got that that motor. Uh, this is going to be for the installation of uh, the balance shaft elimination kit. Um, so this is assuming that you already have you know the front cover, the water pump here off, the oil pump, the alternator, and everything off, the crank pulley. Um, I have the idler piece. I could take this off too, but I, I just left it on for now. Um, here's your oil pump, and this here is the front cover case. So at the end of this, what's going to happen is you're only going to have belts over here. This here is the front shaft belt. This here is your ballast shaft elimination belt and your your tension pulley for the ballast shaft belt. Now. For anybody that you know keeps up with the engine and you're used to it, you know that half the time this belt nine times out of ten is the one that causes you problems. So this damn thing breaks. You got bent valves and throws your timing off, possibly damages your belt and other components. So some people believe you know it gives frees up some extra horsepower, but at the same time the compromise possibly increases some um, some of the you know engine vibration. I I've, I've barely noticed any. So what we're going to do is go ahead and further down, strip down these components here, take the front case off, and with that we're going to go ahead and um, show you what it looks like on the inside. Sometimes you have to use a pry bar and a little mallet, you know, something to pop it off. I have nothing available. You can use flathead screwdriver as well. That's what I'm just going to end up using here. Some good pry spots on the back of the case, and you'll see a little pad. Put it back there and right off. Be careful, go work your way around it. Now with this one, I know I have a problem. Sometimes your uh, balance shaft and your front shaft may come out with it at the same time. But it's going to take a time. Yeah, see, I got one coming out. It takes time taking it out so you don't nick anything up. And as you'll see, let me see. 
That's the, uh, sorry about that guy. That's the, uh, the balance shaft. Right there, it's the uh, hooked actually to, right there to the back of the fuel pump. I mean, uh, oil pump, excuse me. That's the back of, uh, the front casing. And we see there's a hole where it goes through right down in through into the pistons and all. You gotta set that guy down. And here is the, uh, the front shaft. So this one, actually, this one's pulling right out. Let's be careful when you're taking them out. So you're not nicking anything up, it's better safe than sorry. This is your front shaft. Yeah, yeah, not much to it. I mean, it's a good, at least 10 pounds. So, really. I'm not throwing them back in, so in this casing, I'm not reusing, actually, because it's broken up here. Um, but this is how she sits in the motor. So you got this guy, and up on that side, and that guy over there. So she is in your engine, and then as the you know the oil pump goes, the crank goes, it spins this one, and obviously spins that one, and you got your little this one here, no oil galley in it, but I mean you got it right there. But you have your this one here, there's your oil squirt hole, and then your tabs and all. And some people think also as well that these uh that the the flaps here on the shaft. That these, you know, at certain RPMs and just high horsepower engines will frost the oil. It's, I mean, maybe proven, maybe not. So with that one, though, you know, to each their own. But when you get it off, that's what you should be looking at. You're gonna have this bearing here, and you're gonna have another bearing back there. Now what I have is the um, balance shaft elimination kit from Fast Front Wheel Drive or FFWD. Uh, you can get that at FFWD.com. And what that is, is basically the renowned stubby shaft that goes into that pump. I actually have that over here. Very good quality kit that I see. They like using uh, OEM parts from Mitsubishi. This is what you'll get in the kit. Let me try not to block the light here. What you're going to get is, I'll open it here in a sec for you. You're going to get two new bearings right here for uh, with, with pre-drilled pre oil holes. You get the new stubby shaft with the oil groove as well. There's eBay kits and all that you can get that are a lot cheaper. Um, this cost me about $65, uh, $65 um, shipping and handling and all um, with the oil galley. Now this is, a, you can also get from your local oil parts, Pet Boys, or, you know, maybe O'Reilly, AutoZone. This is actually also a Mirage. Um, Shaft you can get it's a stock part. Also, along with those, instead of a freeze plug here, I have a rubber and copper stamped uh, rubber plug here, along with a this gear, which is a replacement. If you're not using a balance shaft, then why continue to you know have the the sprocket on there? So this spacer here by Mitsubishi provided um, replaces that that sprocket. So I'll get everything out of here opened up and I'll show you how to install it.